Captain's log, Stardate 00674.9. Approaching the fourth planet of star system Epsilon Lyrae, where we've intercepted an indecipherable subspace signal. Heavy magnetic storms interfering with the scan. Not uncommon for the double though. Can you see anything other than the signal? Negative. No other signs of sentient life. Disappointing, since this planet was populated by a humanoid species according to data taken only 23 years ago by the USS Yorktown, uh, Captain Jawahara in command. The civilization was rated at Class G on the Richter scale of cultures, so no contact was attempted. That's early to mid 21st century. Is it safe to beam down? Affirmative. And no sign of disease organisms or radiation. Landing party of three. Mr. Dakin. Mr. Calhoun. And you, Phil. Me? You are chief science officer. And it's not like we get a lot of planetary survey missions. Find out what happened down there with that civilization. I'm ready, Sean. Mr. Carter. Duffy Bridge, report. Power drain, Commander. Engineering is tracing. Commander Zakala. I've got more than enough for transport. I want to get this done so we can work the power drain. Meet. Bridge out. Commander? I'm on it. I'll report as soon as I know. I, nothing's coming through. The interference here, it's just, it's tremendous. It's the signal. It's drowning everything out. My track order says there's ruins everywhere within range of it. There's no sin in life or any animal life. The vegetation is sparse like it was affected by whatever happened here. All fauna? Animal line completely scoured away. Well, I just, I just have a headache, and it's it might be the heat or that singing. It's just so loud. Just don't, you, don't you hear it? No, I don't. There's a structure not far from here that appears to be intact. Let's head that way. Captain's log supplemental. We've lost contact with the landing party. And our power issues are getting worse. Give me that hyper stand there. You know that one. You okay? Yeah, it's just a headache. The signal is partially decoded, Captain. Make it stop. Wait a minute. That's no distress call. Make it stop. No, it isn't. Good lord. It's a warning! Make it stop. Ah! Make it stop! Make it stop! Make it stop! Make it stop! 
done, Mr. Tathan. Mr. Drago, take her to sick bay at once. Sick bay to bridge. Go ahead, doctor. What's going on up there? I'm getting reports of injuries all over the ship, and all of them are reporting that they hear voices singing. I can't find a cause to it. This is the source of the distress signal. It's disabled now. There's a recording on this. Can we play it? Not with the equipment we have here. We need to get back to Demos. Dakin's getting worse. All must be order. There's something familiar about what's happening to him. Get a sense of... Are you familiar with Deja Vu? Yes, it's a Terran term for a feeling of having experienced an event or having been in a place previously. Not sure we have anything equivalent on Zartheb. I've seen this before. I know it.
Oh, God. You all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, thank you. Andre, I found something. I have an idea what's happened here. Duffy to Demos. Come in, Demos. Captain's log supplemental. Our orbit is decaying. We estimate no more than 16 hours before we enter atmosphere. Engineer Zakata is attempting to restart the impulse drive. Almost a third of the crew is down with it now. Have you found a cause? I'm stumped. Looks a lot like schizophrenia, but it's not. I've got it! Hey. Well done, Miss Sakata. Orbit stabilizing, Captain. The signal is gone, ma'am. I pierced through the interference locally and picked up Commander Duffy. On audio. Sean, can you read me? We know what happened. These people are dead because they killed themselves. And I have the source. Contact lost, ma'am. Can you lock that? Locked on. The Sakata, the transporter room. We have people home. Got it. I'll report as soon as I know. Doctor, you'll be with her. Systems coming on, energizing. The answers are here. We found a recorded message from a scientist on this world. If you are viewing this message, it may already be too late for you. If I have failed, then it has lured you as it lured us, and it will consume you as it has consumed us. I am the last of us not taken. They are coming for me now. But if all goes well, the thing will die with us. It came from the stars. We found it in deep space. It called us as it is calling you. It consumes all forms of living energy. And its song is death. I will feed it more than it can stomach. And perhaps break its hold upon our world. Now. The device works like a battery. When these people experimented with it, they overloaded it, and it ignited into some sort of energy matrix that sustains itself by consuming all forms of energy, including sentient and animal life. It also induces hallucinations. That's why we couldn't trace the effect. I recognized it. While we were reviewing records on the surface, what the Tai Yun did, how they controlled us, is similar. Some are more susceptible than others. I'm resistant, as are certain members of the crew who experienced a deeper experience a, a, a deeper interface with the tie in how do we kill it well the scientists in the recording attempted to implode the matrix essentially by overfeeding it he used a concentrated blast of neutron radiation all it did was create an energy wave that devoured all animal and sentient life on the planet, leaving the structures and the plant life intact. They killed themselves, but didn't have enough power to trigger the effect. Do we have enough? Absolutely. We have a matter-antimatter reactor. They didn't have that kind of power. We'll have to divert everything we have to the phasers, but we should have just enough. How will we know where to target our phasers? We only have a general idea of what building the device is located in. There's too much magnetic interference for us to triangulate from orbit. 
we'll have to locate it manually and use a tricorder to generate location data. Meaning? Meaning we'll have to go back. Phil? Andre? Okay, well. Got to resist, Andre. Phil, we've got to kill it. I don't know if we can. I'll maintain communication with your ship. We can do this, Phil. Oh, this is the order. Oh, this is the order. Never again. Let's get out. Take cover. Do you read the energy source? Now! Now! It's gotta be now! Demos, do you have it? We are locked on target, Captain. Mr. Tathan, lock phases. You may fire when ready. Stations on. Temperatures dropping. Magnetic field stabilizing. Anna, are you all right? That was close. Well done, everyone. You get to tell Starfleet they're going to have a hefty bill for this when we are returned to Starbase 211. And it's going to be at least an hour before we beam the landing party back. Demos to landing party. We're still here. Find the Herod, Captain. We're glad to be here, too. What is it? Honestly, I think it's some sort of super capacitor with a self-regenerating capability for what? I don't know. Landing party, power's coming back. We should be ready to beam you up in about an hour. Standing by, Captain. <sighs> what a tragedy. All these people, gone, just gone. Captain's log supplemental. We've recovered the artifact and are transporting it to Starbase 211 for further study. It is unknown how many of the artifact is killed, or where it came from, or what its purpose is. It represents a potential both great and terrible. Perhaps, sometimes it's best not to touch things you don't understand. I'm fortunate to have you, had you down there with me, Phil. That thing was mesmerizing. I couldn't look away. You snapped me out of it. I've had my experience with mind control. I never want to suffer that again. That device drew an entire planet to its deaths, and nearly us too. Have you ever heard the legend of the siren? I've read Homer, yes. The siren song. Drove ancient mariners mad and caused them to ground the ships upon the rocks. Like Odysseus, repeat it. All engines are optimal, Captain. All warp speeds are available. Subspace is clearing, Captain. We can get a message through to Starfleet. 
permission to return to my station, Captain? Permission granted. How are you feeling? Better, Mr. Dakin? Much better. Thank you. Mr. Duffy, I need an apology. Hardly. Is this something I should know about? No, no, ma'am. It's just, just a song I heard once. Very well. All hands are back at duty stations, Captain. I had to walk back to two. Yes, Captain. And who is Homer?